I'm Anya Lustuk, and I'm from Pasco, Washington. And can you please tell us the testimony that you want to share with everyone? Well, my testimony started um, in fall of last year. Um, I got accepted into dental hygiene school, but I had no finances to cover that. So we kept on praying, and um, I wasn't supposed to get financial aid. I ended up having financial aid, and then I also ended up having an, another grant on top of that to help me cover for school. Well, me and my husband decided last, not last month, like two months ago, we decided that we wanted to give a check of that financial aid, give it away, like to church or to um, like a church organization and such. And we couldn't do it that month. Like we prayed about it and it was just, it was impossible really. Like it was, we really struggled with finances. But like two weeks later, I get an email from um, CBC Financial Advisors and they're like, well, we calculated everything. We looked at your account and we did not give you enough money. So <laughs> they sent me a check for the same amount that we wanted to give like the two weeks before. That's not the end. <laughs> um, so we decided we're going to give that check to like a ministry in Ukraine and the ch to church and to another um, like an orphanage type ministry. And um, then like a couple weeks ago, two week, like two weeks ago, um, I get another check that's like, almost four times the amount of what we gave away. Wow. So, yeah. Wow, that's so awesome. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. So, wow, Anna, that's so amazing. So for people who might be struggling with finances or like let's say, for example, in your case that you wanted to give but you didn't know how you were going to give it, what advice can you give to those people who might be in that same situation? You know, you can never outgive God. Um, in our church, we always talk about tithing, giving 10% to church, and giving offerings. Um, some people think that they're going to lose when they give. You really can't. He's going to definitely multiply. And he's, and you want, whatever God puts in your heart to give, you really want to give that because you have no idea what kind of blessings you're going to get from that. Like four times the amount. <laughs> Amen. That's so awesome. Let's put our hands together for Jesus.